Zach Sang and the Gang, finally. What's up? Justin Bieber. What's up, dude? Woo! Hello, sir. This is, up, this is a beautiful moment. It is a beautiful moment. I feel like I've been waiting for this moment my entire life. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is... Well, me too. This That's is it. Well. Thank you. Good. Well, How's your life good. right now, dude? It's been so busy. I'm just trying to get back into the gear of going, go, 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 go. Yeah. Well, is it weird getting back into that gear? I mean, you've been really making the album for a while. You know, it's hard to go from zero to 60. Um, yeah. I've been so chill for the past. I mean, chill and not chill, but just like... I haven't had to do much and like yeah. do much for other people and, and get so it's like I'm just getting getting it back. Was there a part of you when you went into all of this that was like, you know, maybe like I don't need to do it because you really right. didn't need to do any of it. Yeah, I had my doubts. Yeah, I had my doubts to know like, am I ready for this? Am I ready to go back on the road and feel the pressure and feel like that's it? And uh, I, but I think I am, man. I don't think you can ever be ready. You just have to make a decision and say, yeah. hey, man, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna crush it. Well, let's get right into the album, man, because that you made the point there, right? I'm not saying, I wasn't meaning not make the album, because the album is art. You're telling mm. a story. Mm. I listened to Sorry. It's incredible. Like right, There's such a transition Thank from you. every one of your singles. Thank you. It's a part of you. Thank you. And sometimes, sometimes <laughs> art comes with and this mm -hmm. is a part of the Yeah. You know? Yep. So, but I actually, you know what? I've been learning to just make the best of it and have fun. Yeah. Right? And just enjoy it. Like... If I'm coming here with just like oh, another interview, I'm, I'm gonna it's like I'm just gonna come off that way, and I'm gonna be thinking other stuff. But yeah. if I just come, like let me just enjoy myself. And... Why you, not, dude? You give off good vibes. Everybody yeah. gives them back. You know? Hell yeah! Oh, <laughs> oh. Nice. Wow. <laughs> good vibes all around. Yes. <laughs> this makes for an easier interview too. It's easier to talk to. It's like not weird. And well, that's uh, okay. So now do I'm getting. Ever, do you interview people? It's just like it's like we, it's hard to talk to them mm -hmm. all the time. Okay, that, like I'm at ten thousand interviews, dude. I've done ten thousand eight years. Okay, and some of them, honestly, they suck because people come in and they're very close. Yeah, and it's like yeah. you can prod, you can prod, you can prod, yeah. but if they have a wall up, mm -hmm. it's really a challenge. Like it just it, you can't really penetrate it because you can't a conversation if you go into something with a certain mindset yeah it's or, hard. or or they have insecurities or yeah. whatever it may be of like oh I, should I say this should I say this but the point where I've kind of done enough to be like I don't really care what I say at this point I know who I am and is how important is that moment in your life right to, when you have that realization it's awesome you uh, remember when you had that realization yeah uh, you know what. On the air, I did a few years ago, and it was when I was talking about my girlfriend. It was more not more about being open about yeah. every aspect of my life and yeah. who I am. Yeah. You know, and, and it came in a different way. You yeah. know, because it, I remember it was hard, but it changed everything. Yeah. Because you go in with a different attitude, a different 100%, mindset. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. You know, you're and comfortable when you start. Like when you're in a weird place, you're talking about weird stuff. Yeah. If that makes sense. Of course. Like so, when I snapped out of that weird place. Like, this isn't the music that I really want to make. Because my whole album was going that direction. Like, just a weird vibe. Uh -huh. And it wasn't bad. The music was great. But it wasn't necessarily, like, where I'm at now. So I kind of restarted my whole project and just, like, started from scratch. And it went in a whole different direction once Skrillex got involved. And once Where You Now came out, it became... It changed the game. Yeah. I really... I mean that. Yeah. And listening to Sorry validated my beliefs there. Thank you. Because it is so... It, when you release music, right, and, and, and please hit me with this, this music feels like it's so, it represents where you're at now. Yeah, it does, for sure. How, it's happy, it's fun. Happy, fun, but it also sends a message. Yeah. Like, let's look at Sorry for a second, right? Yeah. What are you trying to accomplish with Sorry? And and what was that message like, tweaking it and figuring out those lyrics? What was that process? Uh, it was um, it was a lot of long days. Yeah. A lot of meticulous stuff. Um, It took, like, took a long time to do and that's like oh dude i just can't wait for people to hear it yeah okay working on this album you worked with some incredible people yeah we have you know collaborations yeah. you were rumoring them today you know teasing them on twitter big no. sean big sean um we have ed sharon doing some cameo stuff Dope. on there cool so uh it should be fun man very we cool. wrote a song together and a collaboration remix with ariana yep I can't wait for people to hear that too. What do you mean, remix? Game changer. Have you pre-ordered my album yet, dude? Uh, I'm going to. All right. I promise. All right. How, <laughs> does it excite you to have an album out? It does, man. It does, and it's exciting to be able to go back on tour and be passionate about what I love, and um, I am passionate about this project because it, I was more hands-on. Uh huh. 
And last time I wasn't as hands on because, you know, you're younger and you have people telling you what yeah. to do and what to say. And it was just kind of, it was kind of out of my control. And everything in this pro process has been like, has to have, has had to go through me. What is the collaboration process with you and Skrillex or Pooh Bear? Like when you get into the studio, are you coming with concepts? Are they coming with stuff? How does that work? It just depends, man. It depends. Um, it just depends what kind of mindset we're in. Like yeah. sometimes we write the music first. Sometimes we write the lyrics first. Sometimes I'm writing music on a plane and then we come to the studio and I'm like, here, this is what I'm feeling. Let's translate this into melody and uh, let's get someone to produce it. So it just depends how. Is it a relieving feeling to take your emotion and translate it into lyrics or into ideas? Yeah, it's like therapy. Yeah. Yeah, you go into the studio and you start with nothing and you come out with something, which is art and it's fun and I'm able to express myself. It's very cool. Oh. Purpose. Tell Purpose. me the story behind the name. So uh, basically for a while there, I felt like I, I kind of lost my purpose or felt like I lost my purpose. And, um, and I feel like I finally got my purpose back. And uh, I just want people to be encouraged by that and be inspired by that and know that, hey, maybe I lost my purpose or maybe I don't know what my purpose is. But that just that word is so important in life just to have something to reach for and have that purpose. And I don't know, I have this platform to do so much and I want to be able to yeah. inspire people. What is your purpose? I think my purpose is uh, to inspire people and use my use my platform to do, help people. Do you remember when that clicked for you and you realized your purpose? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think that as you grow up, and I grew up in the industry, so a lot of the things um, I was doing just became just normal. And like when I was performing, it was just normal. Of course. To perform for 20,000 people is just normal, you know? It's and it insane. Shouldn't, it shouldn't be normal. You no. should, every time you should love it and you should like, thank God for it and just like be thankful. And I kind of lost that. And, but I, something finally clicked and I was finally like, you know what, I want to engage with them i want to like i want them to feel like i'm connected with them and, uh -huh. yeah very cool hey <laughs> it's pretty crazy you know the power of music you know it's insane it's like another language <laughs> it really right? is it that's really what's cool is. about this album too is it's it's in depth but it's really simple yeah like what do you mean like People in Japan, anyone can sing that. What do you mean? You know what I mean? It's like simple. <laughs> so that's why I did it. Like but the that. message is clear and it, it resonates. Yeah. And it is impactful and it is deep. Yep. There's there's so so much message behind yep. the lyrics and everything. This album, obviously compared to all of your other stuff in the past. Yeah. Different. Yep. Different for you. Different Justin Bieber. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. Just I'm finding myself. And I'm talking about stuff that I'm really going through. I'm going I'm talking about um, just really personal stuff. Yeah. So it, it becomes more relatable. It becomes more me. And I feel like uh, my voice has gotten better. And just all around, I just feel like there's not a, there couldn't be a better time for me to come out with an album. Cool. What was the hardest part about making the album? The hardest thing about making an album? Probably uh, having to cut your favorite songs. And like cut songs that mean so much to you, but might not be fitting for the album, but you're like, man, I don't want to, it's like my baby. Yeah. I don't want to give this up, but you have to, you have to. Make it I want to like, of course I'm, I'm making pop music, so it has to be popular, but what is popular necessarily? Popular is popular when you make it popular. You know what yeah. I mean? It's not taking what's already popular and just, oh, this is popular. I guess this is popular too. There's no stereotype for popular. No. And I think when like, I just want to break those barriers. We're already breaking the barriers with having EDM and pop mixed and playing on top 40 radio. You know what right. I mean? So if we continue to just break those barriers, I think there's only going up from here. When you're listening to your own music, yeah. do you l hear something different in the song every time you listen to it? Or what do you listen for? Like, what's what's going on in your mind? Um, yeah, I think I listen. To, I, I hear something new every time, um, whether it's in the beat or in my vocals or something. And... I just call them up and I'm like, hey, change this or I like this, keep uh -huh. this rate, turn this up. Because that's what happens during the mixing and mastering process is like there's so much that goes into it that people don't see and so much of like meticulous with like engineering type of, of stuff that I like to be involved in because I hear all that stuff because I'm such an artist and yeah. I like I break things down and s certain things that you probably wouldn't hear, I'll be like, yo, do you hear that little uh, hi-hat right there? Turn that up right here. I'm going to just... I don't know. I like it.
That's what makes it work, man. Yeah. That's what makes it makes it great. Yeah. What's your take? I think uh, Kanye is the the craziest when it comes to mixing and mastering. He has like twenty mixes. Himself. I've heard that. Wow. It's crazy. Yeah, and he and he ends up using like the first one. <laughs> <laughs> what is the What's your favorite part about making an album? Uh, my favorite part about making an album. Mm. What part of the process do you like the most? Probably just being able to express my feelings. Okay. Yeah. And people at the end of the day being able to hear it. Releasing the new album, Purpose. Yep. Got a new single coming out next week. Sorry. This is all exciting. What does 2016 look like for you? Are we talking 2016. tour? I hope so. Yeah. I hope I'm touring by then. Um, but yeah, I want to I wanna get this music out there and the fans that they want. When you're labeling, or not labeling, titling every track, every title has a purpose, really. And ironically saying they do have a purpose because there's a message in there. Mm-hmm. Are you naming the track first, naming the track after? Are you listening to it to get the real meaning behind it? Um, naming the album? N- not the album, but naming each track. Like, sorry, and I'm looking at the Instagram of all the track you know, titles up there well, on a you, wall, all blurred out. Usually the name of the title is something that sticks out the most in the song. Okay. But right, so, sorry, it's just like... Sorry. The whole hook is like, sorry, so... <laughs> what what other it, what other stories <laughs> are, could we be expecting from other songs? Because we've had a progression here. Um... Hmm. I don't know. I think every song just is so different uh-huh. and so, but all cohesive at the same time. And it just gives people a different outlook into my life. Cool. I don't know. That's all I can really say. So you're about to have the number one song at radio. Yeah. It's massive. Yeah. This is a first for Justin Bieber. It is. Woo woo. It is. Congrats. Should we? Should we yeah. We have we have shots if you want shots. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> I'm down for that. Go grab the bottle. What are we uh, what are we drinking? We have we have fireball, we have uh Jameson. Jameson. fireball, like high school. Okay, fireball. let's do it. I feel like that's a high school thing to do, right? <laughs> Fireball? Yes. Do you miss not going to high school? Like when you can experience stuff like that, you know, with people your own age? Uh, yeah, I think I missed out on a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. Um, but I also got to like do a lot of awesome stuff that people don't get to really do. Of course. You know? So I kind of just weigh the negatives and the positives, and I'm just like, uh, I'm sure they probably want my life. I want their life. So exactly. They do. Yes, always... yes, they do. Yeah, jo- Dan's <laughs> very, you know, he's been studying your dance moves for a while. Oh, yeah? yeah show they're... me something. He's oh, been... No, because show me something. No, yeah, go. Dude, I, you know, I'll embarrass myself. Okay. Show me. <laughs> so you know the part in the Confident video and you guys are like walking in the hall oh, and you're yeah. doing that little thing? Uh-huh. Every time I see that, I show just me. can't control myself. Do I can't it. do it. That's try it. Try it. Try it. Do it. Do it. I can show you. Do you want me to show you? Yeah. So I think... So long. So you're doing like a... 60. Your whole body? No, just with this okay. finger. So you go, and then you throw it this way. Oh, so, oh, so this, this one way. goes in the back. This is. <laughs> so you're just. This is dance. All right, you you're go. Good. Circle. Okay. You go. Step with the circle. Okay, so, so step, step back, back. Step. Throw it. Okay. Step. It. You guys look like bros. Yeah. yeah. I think that was pretty good. We are bro. Wow. Hey! Oh, okay, let me see it by yourself. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so step, throw it. Yep. Step, throw it. Step, yeah, step throw it. Well done. Like... All right. All right. Let's go, Dan. Let's go, Dan. Let's do it. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, no. Start over. Start over. We're talking to ourselves on one. I'm not watching. Boom. 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 You're not. You've got to commit with the circle. Just focus on your body. So I got, uh, it's all in the hand. It's all in the wrist, dude. So I got a grip. Wrist, wrist. No, no, that was bad, too. Wrist, so step. Dad, you're choking. Dude, it's not. It's bad. Relax. You're doing great. Step, bro. Is that circle. Step, bro. Circle. You're missing this. Oh, what? You're missing the, it's a full three, I, I guess it's almost two, two swings. So when you're stepping, you're throwing it like that. So boom. Two spins. Listen, one, I'll just stick with the slow two, one, and then one, while I'll leave you two. to the fast, upbeat one. I'll, yeah. just, I'll just go move real slow, Do it. and you go real fast. All right. So, so. so. You're... <laughs> 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 
Dude, I, got, I got like once. It's a dumb move anyway. <laughs> well, that's why we disagree, because right? that's the greatest Blame it on the seen. move. The move sucks. Well, Dan, terrible dance move. I don't know why you would ever put that in a video. That sucks. <laughs> Dan's also part of the skate life, though. So. Yeah. He, he skates, skates skate too. Life. Well, I try. Let's skate. Let's go skating. He, there's that. skateboards <laughs> in the other room. Oh, they're in my yeah. car now, but yeah, okay. they're here. You ready for this? She rollerblades and he skateboards. Well, we both try. I mean, we're not great, but yeah. it's, it's fun, right? It's gross. That's what I say. This is my dog right here. I know. I'm gonna move over to his mic. Go, go, go. <laughs> Share with him. It's my new best friend. When you hit a number one at radio, is that something that's still special to you? Uh, yeah, for, dude, that's After one of the everything? coolest. Th honestly, that's one of the coolest things that's happened in my career so far. So far that I'm looking at, and I'm like, that's awesome because it's, it shows that, I mean, a ra the radio is. It's like an older crowd, I feel like. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, it's a different crowd It's now. a different crowd, yeah. It, you know, it's weird. If you look at America, right, and we've been doing it forever, and we're on all over the country, yeah. it's like the armpits of America listen and live differently. Mm -hmm. But if you go into middle America, there's still 14-year-old kids who don't have iPhones, yeah. you know what I mean, yeah. who, who still listen to the radio, and they'll call us every night with the covers over their head and well. just requesting their favorite songs. Yeah. It's still a thing, you yeah. know? And people love it. I feel like my voice, like, it didn't really transcend to radio before with how, how high it was. But I, I, I always sense. loved your songs. Yeah? I loved it on the radio, baby, one time. I've been playing them forever. Mm. See, I, I mean, really great pop songs. Thank you. I, I mean that. Like, Thank you. They've paved a, their way in music history, and they've made a really big impact. Thank you. Is it crazy for you to think that you've made a major impact on music? Do you have to really think about that sometimes? Uh, I don't. I don't like to think like, oh yeah, I'm, I just uh, I just made a huge impact on the world. <laughs> so um, how, how awesome am I again? <laughs> Tell me how awesome I am. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, it really is insane. Uh, yeah, no, I, I I'm really uh, I'm really appreciative. Cool. For sure. But uh, I don't I don't know. I don't really sit back and think about that. What's like I the just, worst part of the job though? The worst part about what I do is um, probably just people following me all the time like yeah. always like with the camera or well we had a privacy issue recently didn't we <laughs> oh yeah we did oh yeah, <laughs> yeah can i be honest with you oh yeah i mean let's lay it on the line right yeah. now yeah. <laughs> if those if those are my pictures justin you'd be happy i'd plaster them everywhere really <laughs> my christmas card my facebook default i take an ad out on my local newspaper <laughs> Okay. All right. I would be a lucky, lucky man. I mean, at the end of the day, the, the photos, are, I mean, they're not terrible. But honestly, <laughs> at, at first and um, before the reaction was what it was, and still with the reaction, I still felt like I wanted to keep that part for me. Yeah. You know, of I course. was never, but I felt like it was a little bit of an invasion. Of my oh, like completely. Stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, complete invasion of privacy. We are I just don't want people side. to think that I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I, <laughs> news. I what it. up? <laughs> Flaunting, you know? Yeah. No, I, I felt like, yeah, it was a lot. Where you were know? you and when I first found out about it? I was like, yeah, my heart sank. And, okay, so at what point do you feel okay with it? Is it when the people are like, yo, what am I gonna do now? It's out there. So the more yeah. I stress about it, I'm like, like it's out. So what can I really do? You're a hundred percent. What yeah. do you think about your dad's comment? About I thought it, it was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> what do you feed that thing? He said. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, quite, are you like embarrassed or like dad? No, it's just such a dad thing to say. So dad. <laughs> and when I found out people were hating on him for saying that, I was like, are you kidding me? Like, what dad wouldn't be proud of that? It's not like he's saying it to an 11 year old. Exactly. I'm 21 years old. Yeah. You my, know what I mean? So my dad would be very proud too. Yeah. Keith wants to know our video guy. He was just really interested. Do you have a name for it? <laughs> uh, the fans do. Ooh. They call it Jerry. J Jerry. A Jerry. Yeah. Yeah, you can adapt that, you know. I could. I think you got like a like big in front, like big Jer, because it's impressive. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, those Jer. pictures are something. Thank you, dude. I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's keep going. Let's keep it going. <laughs> they say rap, you say go. Okay, purpose coming up, November thirteenth, fourteenth, fourteenth. Uh, thirteenth. 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 Next new single next Thursday. It's going to be a big day. It is. Huge day. I'm excited. You like working with these guys behind you? Uh, you like Mike Chester? Uh, what are we thinking about his hat? <laughs> like you just keep going How hard? How high do we go? <laughs> the dog start no, barking. He's, he's, he's the best, man. He's easy to work with. Yeah? Yeah. Nikki, too. I like her hair. She's a good egg. 
Nikki, I don't really want to talk about it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Nikki's the best. I like your tats, man. Thank you, man. You, you like, like? You have a story behind every one? I. Which one means the most to you? If you... I, I don't remember, dude. I was. Yeah. Yeah. Not there. <laughs> do, you, do you regret any of them? Because you got a lot of them very quickly. I did. Yeah. I don't really regret anything that I do. No. So there's none you to kind of like replace or take away and add something else. No. But they're they're beautifully done. Yeah, you know, I, it wasn't like I just went to some janky spot. Yeah, they was, better just be. Just tout whatever. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm also a really artistic person, so I was like, even when I was messed up, I was like, uh, have you drew, did you draw any of those? Me. I did. Yeah, I drew this when I was 11 years old. This one, and I was like, wow. I'm gonna get this tatted on me one day. Wow. And sure enough, I did. You got yeah. the belly button one. Oh uh, what? Didn't you get one on your belly button? <laughs> I did. I did. Yeah, it says purpose. <laughs> um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Boom. It's uh, just finishing up healing right now. It looked but. good in the picture. You know, the album cover. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, Justin Bieber. I like your bracelet too, dude. Welcome, man. Everything works for you, man. Thank you. Any other questions around the room? Yeah, quickly. Do you, uh, do you like? Do you enjoy your old music, like performing it, or have you kind of moved on from that and you're all about the new stuff now? I am. Uh, I was. I just wasn't really as passionate about the last. And I had to, of course, in interviews and stuff, I had to say, like, yo, listen to this. This is amazing. I love it. But, like, I wasn't really that connected to what I was doing before. It wasn't mm -hmm. you. And it wasn't me, and it wasn't coming from me. And I think the you music, can tell. I wasn't writing the music. And I guess you could tell. I think you could. No, I was going to say, I think you can tell that this one is more you. Yeah. This album, it sounds like, I mean, what we've heard so far. Yeah. It's art. It really yeah, is. Yeah, and it's not, like... I'm not trying to do anything that I'm not trying too hard. I'm just making the music that I want to make, and people are loving it. And oh, having fun. special, dude! Wow. It really is special. Oh, cool. You have an incredible album release coming your way, man. I do. You have yeah. a good 2016 coming up. I do. Justin Bieber, an honor. <laughs> Thank you. Seriously, Thank I you. didn't think this day was ever. Oh, you want to do Fireball? They got the Fireball. Let's oh, do it. Bring, bring it in. in. <laughs> bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Well, let me ask you a question. Did you yeah, think yeah, I'd yeah. be this easy to talk to or what? Okay, can I be honest? At, be first, honest. I, at first, I was nervous a little bit. Yeah. I, I, we've changed. We've yeah, gone we, through a process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, now, now I'm like more comfortable. It's good, you know? Yeah. You're easy. You're open. Good. Well, does, it, just, does it offend you? I like to make it easy on you guys good. so it's easier for you to ask me questions. So it's like if I dis disarm you guys, it's just like. You give so much. Yeah. yeah. Well, but, it seemed like you were kind of nervous when you first started, like getting back into the whole radio interview thing, and like because I've been watching interviews over like last few months, and you're kind of like becoming more open as it goes on. I am, on. and I'm getting. It's just because the more I'm doing it, the more I'm realizing like, oh, everyone's not doesn't hate me. You know what I mean? I was going back into it feeling like people were mm -hmm. against me. Do it. And when you feel like people are against you, obviously you're gonna have insecurities and yeah. be d guarded a little Build bit. Build up those but, walls. But now, of course, like I have walls up, yeah. but they're. Shorter walls. <laughs> Man, dude, I, I was at a party with a bunch of like 21 to 30 year old and like they just put you on replay now. That's over dope. and over. Yeah, like, older people are loving my music now. It's older dudes. Like, older like dudes. 30 year old I get guys. so many dudes in the in the street. But, Bieber, what up, dude? I'm loving <laughs> the music, man. <laughs> Rock on! <laughs> right. I'm feeling old dude. It yeah. is, man. It, no, it just feels good to be accepted by your peers and not of just course. like. And before. I, the dudes were jealous, you know? Mm -hmm. They would be jealous because their girlfriend would like me, and now they're like, oh, I can like them too. We can all take Fireball together. <laughs> Allison, just, did you just freak out? No. Okay, you want one? No, I have to drive home. Nikki. Come on. Nikki, get in here. Come of on. I'm, of course I'm doing number one right now. Everybody's in the other room doing it too? Do it. Too? Do it. Okay. Come on, everyone's doing it. <laughs> Nikki, you want one? Of course I do. We're going to streak down to the quads of the gymnasium. You bring your green hat. Yeah, sure. Okay. Snoop a loop. Yeah. yeah. What is that? Can we make a toast? Yeah. Yes. yes. Can I do it? Yes. Yeah. Of course. All right. Ready? I'd like to say, first of all, um, toast to all the people that helped me with this project. All the people who, there's so many hands that are involved. Radio, these guys, these guys. Um, and cheers to my new album. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Number one, bro. Number one. Woohoo. What my dad does, he waits. So everyone's here and goes, Woo! 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 Alright! Woo! There it is. Woo! 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 Woo!